Booga, booga, ooga, booga. Dating games. They have been a staple for as long as humans have dated. Not true, but shut up. Even going back as far as the 1970s with a little show called The Dating Game. What would happen is one person would stand on one side of a wall and then they would ask questions to potential bachelors or bachelorettes. And then based on the answers that those people provided, they would choose a winner to go on a date with. Now that was all the way back in the 70s. And as a society, we have really evolved and adapted our ways to make things better over time. Now in 2023, what we do is we put one contestant on one side of a curtain and then they ask questions to potential bachelors or bachelorettes on the other side of the curtain. Which I guess is kind of, it's it's pretty much the same thing. The difference though is we're now involving children. We're just innocent men. Why dating six guys by babies? Although when you put verses on screen like this, it kind of makes it seem like she's gonna fight six babies. Okay, so Nandi is going to date five men based on photos of their imaginary babies. It's a little, it's a little creepy. <laughs> this looks like airbrush to hell, but okay. Let's see these photos. Hi, my name is Nandi. Hi, I'm Nandi. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. I model full time and I teach kids modeling and acting. I'd love to meet some people and just talk to some people, get to know some people here today. I'm not thinking about having babies anytime soon, but I'm curious to see how our kids would look. My question is, if you are going to have a woman date based on what the potential her and these people, their babies would look like. Why would you choose somebody who might be looking to be a mother, you know? Who's like moving into that portion of her dating life where she's like, I wanna settle down. All right, she's not looking for kids. All right, you know what? It is what it is, fine. All right, let's see. These are the photos. These are the, look at all these, look at these photos. They're all the same. Who did you pay? Who did you pay to do this? Jesus, these look terrible. It's the same baby. <laughs> it was like all the photos that I put through a Snapchat filter. My God. How is she gonna tell, tell them apart? Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, they're cute. <laughs> they're the same! Yeah, so the first one. Wait, 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 <laughs> this guy, he's got one front tooth? How frightening is that? You're like, hey, by the way, if you if you, if you you and this person behind the, the curtain had a baby, it would have a genetic mutation where it would just have one large front tooth. So do you guys wanna have a baby together or what's, what's up? Yeah, so the first one, I'm sorry, like the baby is just not giving for me personally, but I'm sure whoever is behind the curtain is very nice. I'm I'm happy. Going into this, I was like, I'm hoping for somebody who is looking to have a baby. But now I'm glad she's not looking to have a baby because uh, she's not ready for a child. You wanna know how I know? Because she just said, this baby isn't giving. Anyone who's ever said that phrase is about a decade away from actually being a parent. This baby just isn't giving. <laughs> it's all Oh my God, I can't believe you said that phrase. I'm sorry, like the baby is just not giving. I, I, oh. I'm sure whoever is behind the curtain is very ah. nice and sweet. Ah, yeah, yeah. The baby you would eventually make horrendously hideous. One giant front tooth. But I'm sure you're a wonderful person. Oh. You, the person who's gonna have a hideous baby one day. Maybe the baby will have a glow up. You never know. <laughs> um, it's a baby! Baby. All babies have glow ups. It's it's not a glow. It's just a grow. They grow up and then they look more like a, a fully formed human. The second one, I'm just like hoping the baby will have a glow up as well a little bit. Third one is cute. You can tell like this is a cute baby. Like it will grow up maybe to be a model or something. This baby's gonna grow up to be a model? <laughs> Really? I can't believe this baby is is giving. It's crazy. It will grow up maybe to be a model or something. I don't Fourth see one it. is very, very, very cute. This baby is a winner. So the other babies are losers. If there's a winner. So the babies that need a glow up are just losers. Okay, okay, guys. That baby could earn money modeling for sure. Yeah, so my name is Glenn. Glenn um, with the one tooth. <laughs> I do property management and I do photography on the side, so it's pretty cool that you do modeling. Family-wise, I'm pretty big on fostering as well too because I do have a few cousins that were inside the system growing up. As for our baby, the That's reason sweet. why the baby probably has no hair on the sides is because I do have a fade on my haircut as well too. I'm not worried about the hair, I'm worried about the singular front tooth. <laughs> We're not gonna talk about it? Yeah, um, so my- What is this? What is- Dog, I- at least this one has like a normal mouth of teeth. This is Elijah. So I'm a musician. Um, I'm also a student still uh, okay. in college. And Every time I hear a guy say I'm a musician, just like, I, I, I do make YouTube videos. So like you're saying maybe I shouldn't, it's glass house. I mean, I shouldn't throw rocks. I just have a traumatic history with, uh, with musicians. I'm not going to get into the story now. A musician stole the girl that I, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I think we should make a name for our baby together. Yeah, um, let's do so it. So something along the lines of like, 
Skyler for a, for a guy. But Skyler is a cute name. How about- Don't lie to him! Yeah, that could work. I think Skyler is a beautiful name, actually. All right. Skyler? I, it doesn't help when I put the attitude on it. I just imagine Skyler. Get over here, Skyler. Like, who wants to be friends with that kid? Oh, here comes Skyler. Right? And everyone's gonna hate him. Skyler! Fuck you, Skyler. All right? Um, also 25. I'm actually from Canada, so East Coast Toronto. Oh, cool. I'm a software engineer. This model, baby, I feel like, you know, some of me, but probably most of you, you know, you got that model look, so. Aww. So, uh, I think, name for a baby, I was thinking maybe like. Whoa, 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 what's this? What's this? You know, you got that model look, so. Aww. So, uh, I think. Guys, oh, can you help me? What is that? What is that? Why did she like, oh, thanks. Like, he's complimenting her. She complimented the baby, didn't she? Third one is cute. You can tell, like, this is a cute baby. Like, it will grow up maybe to be a model or something. Right. So she's like, cute baby might grow up to be a model. Then he's like, I think it has, like, a lot of your looks because you're a model. And she didn't take it well. Why? Was she lying the first time? Uh -huh. So, uh, I think... Hi, I'm Justin. I just graduated from the University of Richmond. Okay. Um, I studied film. Dog, hit me up. I'm putting together a lawsuit. We're gonna sue scam colleges that teach film. Buddy, what was his name? Justin? Justin? Justin, I got news for you. You're a victim. What's our baby's name? I have become kind of attached to the name Juniper for some reason. I don't know why. I feel like our kid would get bullied having that name. Juniper? Juniper? You can always do the nickname June, which... Maybe if she had like a nickname for it, like... Her. Like June? Yeah, maybe June. There you go. Uh, not, not nippy, potentially. June feels uh, just a little plain. It's just a, a month. Like, if you're gonna name a kid a month, August, May, uh, is, again, a little bit boring. April, boring. I feel like August is the first choice. Would you name your kid October? $50,000, if you name your kid October, would you do it? I feel like I would. So firstly, hi, Nani. It's nice to meet you. You have nice a very to meet nice- you. Yeah, you, you have a very nice name. The sort of name I'd give our daughter. Thank um, you. I also noticed that you said this four voice. out of five babies look like models. And I think that's like a testament to your strong genetics. Um, so my name's- Whoa! Whoa! Wait, wait, wait. Um, I also noticed that you said this four- voice. So she falls in love with his voice. But the other guy, he was like, our baby is cute because it has got, it has the model good looks because it's mostly you. And she was like, Thanks, girls. <laughs> and then this guy is like, you have strong genetics. And she's like, oh, what a sweetheart. Um, so my name's William and I'm 25 years old. Yeah, and um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's all I could think of right now. Okay, I absolutely love your voice. Man bumbles and fumbles and stumbles and he still gets the W. He's gonna win just off that, that solely. Oh my God. God! For our daughter's name, I was thinking we should name her uh, Asia because I really like names with Asia. eyes in them. That's why I like your name. Uh, what do you That's think? That's a about? beautiful name. Asia is actually a gorgeous name. You could, he could have said, I'd like to name our daughter Homicide. And she would have been like, oh, that's that's a beautiful idea. I know, that's very neat. Stop with like things, right? Na names should be names. Unless it's like something unique, like October, right? It breaks my heart to say this, and I feel very mean. But Glenn, number one. I'm sorry, Glenn. Glenn, if you want to walk around. Why was I expecting a baby just to walk around the corner there? <laughs> She's not dating babies. I I forgot that part. I noticed that our baby is nameless. Yeah. Okay, so the baby's name though, I would like to be Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Yeah. Dog. She just rejected you. You're never having a baby with her. Before I go, and before we never ever talk again, I would love to just put a name to our baby that we'll never have. What do you think about Jeremiah? <laughs> so I went and just leave. She said no. You Not only were you eliminated, you were the first elimination. Out of everybody who could be the biggest loser, she, she selected you to be the one. Don't try to have banter now. It's over. Call it a day. Um, what did you want to be when you were younger? I grew up with three Great Danes, huge animals. Um, and so I always wanted to be a vet. That was my original intention. Okay, cool. Good answer. When I was younger, I was like a little bit more outgoing and I was like, damn, what if I was like a YouTuber, you know, that'd be so cool. But here I am, software engineer. Okay, I love that. Um, I saw my mom work as a social worker growing up and we grew up accessing social services. So I grew up in like government 
apartments and that sort of a situation. So I'd love to go behind the scenes and impact that area. I, I don't, it's between two and three, right? It's one of these two who are, who's getting eliminated. I feel sad because the baby is gorgeous, but number four, <laughs> I'm sorry. The first guy that she eliminated, she was like, it's it was all the baby. But now she's saying, hey, the baby's gorgeous. I didn't choose you because of your personality. That's why I don't want you here anymore, which is a little bit more brutal, right? Like that's not, like the baby thing isn't in your, in your control. Sorry, I had to shake my boy's hand. <laughs> Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good. What's your... You told me your name Justin. already. Hi, Justin. Nandi. Nandi. Yes. Yeah. It was nothing you said. It was just like the whole like weird name thing sure. for me. <laughs> it's because you want to name your kid Juniper. I want nothing to do with you. What would make you a great dad to our make-believe child? So, I'm a camp counselor for ages 6 through around like 16. I was thinking like, what's a good answer to that question? And he's like, oh. I'm a camp counselor, I'm around kids all the time. And not just I'm around kids, I wrangle children. Not strangle, wrangle, like, like they're, they go, like during field trips, they go everywhere, right? Camp counselor, like they're just off in the woods doing stuff, right? You gotta wrangle them up. Also, my dad is like the most incredible person ever. And I could definitely draw a lot of inspiration. You can teach me some things and I could teach you some things and it would be a beautiful symbiotic relationship. I love that. That's like the fucking perfect answer ever. Like, she better choose him. If she chooses voice guy, I'm gonna be so pissed. Since I grew up with like, you know, two younger siblings, I think I'm very good at like taking care of children. Maybe, maybe we could do like good cop, bad cop thing. Maybe you can be, you know, a little bit more harsher so I can be more lenient and they'll like me. Oh. Hopefully, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I'm like, oh, oh, you just sabotage yourself? Maybe you, can, maybe you can just take care of all the, the harsh stuff and then I can do all the fun stuff. Like, no girl wants to hear that. So my mom was always working. That meant I was taking care of my brothers a lot. So I'd use that, plus I get like a lot of printing TikToks on my few page. Um, so I'd, I'd watch that and yeah, now our child's gonna grow up to be very mentally healthy. He just said, I watch a lot of parenting TikToks. It doesn't matter. The second guy sabotaged himself. It does, you were gonna advance regardless. How would you discipline our kids? Ooh. I have a lot of patience, so I think it would have to be something pretty drastic to like really discipline, but have them sit aside, don't acknowledge them for a few minutes, and then be nice again. My manager said, I will put my kid in a corner and ignore them, and then I would just go, I would just go back to my business. Have you heard of gentle parenting? I have heard of gentle parenting, yes. I think it's a healthy approach to parenting for sure. Gentle parenting. Okay, so here's an example. Let's say you're getting ready to head out the door for work. You have to drop your child off at school or daycare on the way, but they're throwing a temper tantrum. In this scenario, a uh, traditional parenting style might inspire you to scold them. Stop acting childish and put on your shoes. You might yell, you're acting ridiculous. And you're making me like a lark. Why not tell I get back home? Oh, you little shit. To be, that's good parenting to me. I don't know what. Notice in this example, there's a lot of negative connotation. Where? Negative where? By yelling, you're instilling a sense of fear in your kid. I, I wasn't yelling. I was just enforcing my boundaries, okay? Instead of yelling or starting with the negative, you might take a pause and meet your child's where they're at. Maybe you get down to eye level and say calmly, I'm gonna drop you off at school and then I'm going to work. I don't get to yell? That's not fun. I do feel like people should take parenting classes before they become a parent. Those are good things to learn. Although I think we should normalize yelling sometimes. <laughs> Yes, I feel like I'm ready. It's a hard decision. It's not. I would have to say I'm going to eliminate number two. I loved all your answers. I love that you work with kids. Whoa! Wait, this is number two? I thought this guy, the guy in the middle was getting eliminated. I was, I'm counting him as number two. But yeah, I just can't get over the fact about how our baby looks. Um, it's yeah. really bothering me. I'm sorry. I'm no sorry. Worries. Is it me? All these babies look identical to me. I swear to God, I'm, I can't be a, a good parent. Because if I lose sight of my child for like two seconds, and I turn and I look, and then there's two children standing there, I'm gonna be like, I, which one is mine? All babies are identical to me. I can't, I don't know. Hello. Hi, nice to meet oh. you. I was gonna say, just by her reaction, he seemed handsome. <laughs> Hello. Ah, there's just like a certain like, Glow, there's something in the eyes. Just Ew, awesome. ripped my heart out. Yeah, I'm sorry. Just leave, dog. <laughs> Just leave, dog. I, um, yeah, both of them are incredible. Good Jeez. to know. Good to know. <laughs> Thank you. Second okay. person I'm going to eliminate. Oh, we're, we're, it's over. Oh, so 
Who's she choosing? Gonna have to be number three. Shocker. She chose the voice. It was over as soon as he spoke. Listen, this is sound mean. I hope he's not attractive. I hope he's hideous. I hope she made a snap judgment. <laughs> it backfires. I, that's what I'm hoping for. Nice Hi, to meet you. nice to meet you. I love your outfit. Oh, thank you. Are you, are you yeah, okay. let's hug. Let's hug. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's nice to meet you. Nice meeting you me too. Thank you. She was cool illuminating. <laughs> I feel like she's easy to read. I think the third guy was the first person she was like, oh no, I really I'm excited to see her reaction. Five's answers. The gentle parenting thing is just like a winner in my book for sure. I get my, I get my parenting advice from TikTok <laughs> and then she's like, oh, yes, please. Nice to meet you. Can I give you a hug? Yes, of course. Nice, nice to, meet to meet you. Nani, right? Yes. Yeah. Our kid is actually beautiful. Yeah. So I'm trying to read. from you. You're very beautiful. Likewise. Like Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. I think she's into him. He does have a sexy um, ass voice. Like, she's very beautiful. My name is Cork. I'm kind of like the leader in here. And I like the answers too, so pretty, pretty happy. I love him. He was actually really sweet. We were talking like when we rapped a little bit and I'm excited to get to know him. Ooh, what would you want to do on a first date? Have a baby. <laughs> Let's just put a bow on this, right? This is all about babies. I love yeah. activities. Do you like outdoor stuff? Yeah, outdoor you stuff. You know what the funny part is? Is these are two people who just like don't want to have a kid right now. Like all the important stuff, like what are your hobbies and interests haven't been discussed in the slightest. <laughs> Beautiful, like What's, maybe go yeah. check out some views or something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's go look at things. Yeah, sick. As soon as Nandi heard William's voice, it was game over. She was smitten to the core. They're a good pair though. I, I'm telling you, you could have just ended the game right there. Like we didn't need to go through the rest of the motions. Like, what would you be like as a parent? She didn't care. When they said dating by babies, this is not what I was expecting. Can you, can I tell you what I was expecting? I thought this was gonna be five single dads who she was gonna talk to their children and then she was gonna choose. That's a great video. Just bring out five, like five-year-olds who each have a corresponding available father and then she talks to the children. And then based on what they say about their dad, because you know kids, they, they always be saying stuff. That's what that's the old saying. It's like kids, they just be, they be, they be talking. But then the kids would, would like talk, like hype up their father or like talk crap about their father and then she would have to decide based on that. And then she'd have to eliminate children. How fun is that? Hey baby, I don't want to be your mother. I don't want to be your mother. See you later. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. I'll uh, I'll see you again soon, boogies. All right, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. Goodbye now. See you soon.